Hi there, my name's Phil Higgins and this is the Ventures Onsite News update for the third week of February 2022. Well, the Saudi Ports Authority, Marwani, has signed a 20-year deal with the shipping giant Bari to build and operate an integrated logistics park on a land leased in the Jeddah Islamic port with a total area of 95,436 square meters. South Korea's Doosan Heavy Industries and Construction Company has secured a 834 million US dollar contract from the Saudi-based Tawik Casting and Forging Company, a joint venture between Doosan Heavy, Saudi Arabia Industrial Investments Company and Saudi Aramco Development Company for the construction of a 60,000 ton a year casting plant in Ras Al Khair. Well, the Saudi real estate company announced it has awarded a contract valued 31.9 million US dollars for the infrastructure, networks and related works at Al Qadisya district in Riyadh to Mohammed Al Ojami Contracting. The Abu Dhabi National Oil Company, ADNOC, has awarded framework agreements valued at 1.9 billion US dollars to grow its drilling business. The agreements for wideline lodging and perforation services have been awarded to ADNOC Drilling, Schulenberger Middle East SA, Halliburton Worldwide Limited, Abu Dhabi, and Weatherford Bin Hamouda Company, LLC. Emirates Global Aluminium announced the company's plans to build a 150,000 ton per year aluminium recycling facility, the company's first and set to be the largest in the UAE. Feasibility studies for the project are underway and the plan is expected to be operational by early 2024. A SGC, Construction Roads Infrastructure and Marine Division, has signed a contract with Abu Dhabi's Aldar Properties for the main infrastructure works of 71 plots on artificial islands in Al Ghum Phase 2 project in the capital. In Oman, Zain Properties Development announced the launch of Muruj Al Zain project, a 292 apartment complex which will be developed in Salala. The project also features a 2,500 square meter public park, playgrounds, a gym, pool for children, a cafe and a host of other amenities. Well, that's the news for this week. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to our channel so we can keep you up to date with the latest construction news for the region and all future developments here at Ventures Onsite. Well, we hope this news update has helped you stay informed so you stay competitive. My name's Phil Higgins and this is Ventures Onsite Live.